Hi, this is SynthChaser from SynthChaser.com. Today I'm going to briefly show you how to replace the original ancient noisy fan in a memory mode with a new quieter fan. So here's the synth with the original fan installed. Quite noisy and definitely a distraction in the studio. So let's try to measure the sound level. I'm not quite sure how well this app works. but it shows the old fan, when I'm not talking, running at about 35 decibels. I showed how to open a memory Moog a few videos back in SynthChaser 112, so you might consider watching that video, but to summarize, there are some screws on the bottom along these three edges that you need to remove, and there's three screws on the back panel. And once you remove those, you can lift the shell up and separate it from the bottom panel with the electronics and the key bed. And we'll do that now. And we're in. The fan is over here next to the transformer. The original fan is an AC fan. It runs on the AC line voltage that comes into the synthesizer. And the new fan we're going to replace it with is a DC fan. DC fans are typically much quieter than AC fans. DC fans are available in a variety of operating voltages, most commonly 12 volts. And uh, because the fan uses DC instead of AC, we're going to need to connect the fan to the synth's power supply, or somewhere down the line from the power supply. So uh, I picked a fan that I can connect to the 5 volt unregulated rail for the digital power supply. That way, uh, nothing that I do with the fan will have any chance of interfering with the audio path. The memory mode power supply is worked pretty hard to begin with, and it generates a lot of heat. The more current you draw on a power rail, the more heat the linear power supply will generate. So it would be counterproductive to increase the current through the voltage regulator in an attempt to cool down the voltage regulator from the current going through it. So what we're going to do is we're going to hook this fan up in parallel with the filter capacitor for the 5 volt digital rail. So we're going to be running the fan on an unregulated 5 volts and uh, unregulated voltage is fine and by doing this we'll have avoided putting any extra strain on the voltage regulator or pass transistors of the power supply. So let's take a look at the voltage we're going to hook it up to. So the transformer brings the AC voltage in here on this connector and it's rectified by these four bridge diodes here and filtered by this large capacitor here. The uh, capacitor has a little heat shrink on the bottom, so we, we can't measure directly across it. But we can measure across and we can connect to the bridge diodes here. So if I switch my leads like this, we're looking at about a 10, 10 volt DC unregulated, which is fine to run the fan. So let's start by getting the old fan out, and we're not just going to we're not just going to cut the wires on this thing because then we potentially will have uh, AC line level voltage here exposed on a cut wire end. So with the uh, synthesizer unplugged, uh, let's, let's track these wires down and actually remove them properly. So. final connection in here, we are going to remove this connector, or open this connector, and then we're going to use a tool called a Molex pin extractor to remove the, uh, the pin for that, for the fan contact. So we just slide it in there, and there, out it comes. Plug this connector back in, like this, and now the fan wiring is completely removed. No cutting wires, uh, uh, 
no dangerous line voltage inside the synthesizer. And I suppose if we wanted to, we could, uh, we could put this fan back. The wiring is all intact. Now I'll just unscrew the fan. There's four screws on the bottom. Now the fan lifts out and away. It's all dusty down there where the fan was, so we're just going to clean that out. And here's the new fan mounted in place, and I'll, I'll take you on like a little close-up so you can see exactly what's going on here. So our plus and minus unregulated DC voltage are soldered onto those bridge diodes there. And then because the top part of the connector comes apart from the bottom part, uh, I have a nice Molex connector here that can be disconnected to disconnect the fan. And then runs down here to the fan itself, which is uh, mounted into the panel onto the bottom panel with these screws. I did three because with the transformer here it was a little difficult to get the drill on but I did have to drill holes for these uh, screws since they're not in the same pattern as the old one and I can turn it on it sounds much quieter so here's the synth all closed up with the new fan installed it's definitely much quieter than the original noisy fan so with the new fan installed, looks like we're down to about 27 decibels, so from quiet library down to rustling leaves. I consider this a success. I hope this helps you out there quiet your memory mode down. And this has been Synth Chaser from SynthChaser.com. Thanks for watching and have a great day.